Good day and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're having a great day. Happy Sunday. Let's get started right away. We had a couple days off. It looks like we got some fruit going. Looks like we're going to be busy. We'll see what, what we got though. We'll see what, what we got though. All right, so I hear myself, so that's a good thing. You reacted, I can't see any reactions listed yet, so thank you for that. But, uh, we'll see what Isabel has to say here. Walter Neff, thank you for liking, much appreciated. Sound is good, well that's good to hear. I always worry about that. Neither Celestine's in the house. He's expressing neither. Oh, Walter disappeared on me. What happened there? You know, even if you don't like neither Celestine, it actually helps. It's like hitting like an additional time, you know, like it counts as an interaction. So even if you don't really like either. I mean, you know, you could pretend you're on a deserted island and you that was the only thing you could choose. Um, but yeah, it, it helps to even participate in the poll. It is good to just choose to choose just for fun. Because what happens is Facebook kind of sees all the interactions and then it says, hey, something exciting going on here. And then it brings more people in that kind of thing. We got a visitor at a campsite. Her, her announcements weren't very thorough today, I guess. Put my keyboard over here so I don't accidentally shut off the pole or anything like that. Oh, we got mail. All right, Lowe's has something to say. He's really glad he met me and he thinks I'm a cool person for the record. I'm telling you that. Esther, hello, how are you? Look at, we got 129,300 rank S. So we'll get the same scores last time. I guess we can dump that one. It's up from that one. Although we have had 131 at one point. Esther, Matthew, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. See, my microphone bar is lined up perfect today. Perfectly, so it's in the way. There we go. Look at that. We got one of the stars. I heard some star noises. Haley, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. More stars. Can you hear them? Holy crap. It's like... Starfest here. Always cool when Starfest is happening, isn't it? I wouldn't be surprised if the the um, owl, stargazing owls here. I think her name is Celeste too, isn't it? I thought you said stars from Facebook. No, I mean, you know, stars from Facebook are cool, but uh, yeah, I was just talking about in the game. You know, they have the little bing and then you got stars. There's one just flew by and I missed it. Oh, I heard one there. Yeah. Oh, we got one. There's another one. 
We're gonna have a full beach tomorrow. Yeah, that we can just sit here, chat. Press A to the stars. Well, that was a tricky clam, eh? Beth, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. I think the old carrots are ready today. Holy moly, look at them all. Any kangaroo sleeping? Oh, out of the way, dude. Can't keep up. Three there, did you see that? And the candles have been burning forever. They're like really super good candles, I guess. We keep this beach clear. All them stars coming tomorrow. We're gonna have more stars in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Let's go look for weeds, fossils. Ooh, I can't get it there. I'll just put it in the car. There's a weed. There's the second one, I didn't even hear it. When you hear that little bell, you gotta have nothing in your hand and you gotta press up on the right stick. Then you gotta press A. And then the next day, look on your beach. Because you might have a bunch of stars laying on your beach, which you could make into stuff. Not what I want to do. Take that one out of there. Yeah, it's uneven. That's because a new one grew. Yeah, I have them at an angle from each other, so I know where the new ones grow. I want to keep certain ones or whatever. These ones are excluded though because I don't mind. Those are like offshoot colors. Had much luck growing offshoots. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? I 
Haven't had much luck growing offshoot mums yet, really. These have all been yellows, pretty much, that have grown. Oh, that one scared it, eh? Josh, thank you for liking. Beth as well earlier. Haley. Esther, Matthew, Celestine, all the way back. Walter. Much appreciated. Don't forget to enter the poll, you guys. Battle tonight, it looks like. Coleman, thank you for liking. Oh, we got our tree ready, eh? What space do I have? Now, I don't want to lose money. So I'm going to pick up flowers. Take my tree. Cut it down. Where can you build the bridge? Yeah, you gotta go talk to Nook. Oh crap. I'm Nook. Well. I'm gonna go get a new axe. I could build one, I guess, but... I'll just go buy one. I'm gonna need one there too, eh? How do you get a money tree? I'll show you that right away. Make some room here. Did you forward your clocks? Yeah. Well, it's all automatic, really. Not too many clocks that you got to manually adjust these days, is there? Hey Dorothy, how are you? Oh, I'm gonna buy that after. I can grab the axe before I forget though. Good to hear that you're fine. Bear umbrella. That's not a bad looking chair, this one, eh? Leather chair? Oh, patchwork. Looks like leather to me. Well, I will buy it. Look, there's a bucket. What's this bucket? I don't know what that's about. Fire Devil, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Pepsi all day. You like Coke and your hubby likes Pepsi. That's why I said neither. 
Well, I mean, it sounds like, you know, since you're you, you would pick Coke. For the purposes of the poll. See this glowing hole here, Esta? This glowing thing here? So, this is how you get a money tree. Just find those glowing holes, they're there every day. You make a hole with your shovel in your hand. Go down to your money. I just do 10,000, but some people say you can do more. And then you bury 10,000 in the hole. You put other amounts in there. And if you want, but uh. And then in a couple of days, that'll be a money tree. And then what I was doing here is because it only grows money once. Oh, that uh, character is there. I cut her down right after, basically, I, so that I, know, I know what it is. Take this. And the reason I cleared the area first is just because... Um, I don't want the money getting lost. That's why there's so many stars out tonight. Because uh, this character here usually means there's a star. I, I don't think, I think you gotta do it in the glowing hole, but I could be wrong. If it was anywhere though, people would be probably, it'd be all over the internet to growing uh, money in, in mass quantities. So I would assume it's just the, the gold one. See, there's Celeste right here. So that's why there's so many freaking stars dropping today, eh? You just hear that little jing, and then you press up on your right stick and press A when you see them. And then, then you'll be full of stars the next day. You'll be dancing with the stars. Oops, there was a bug there. You see these guys catch them, they're worth quite a bit. There's a new offspring up here. Nope. Oh, eruption. If I do it when the bell's there, I waited for another one, but it would be too slow to put your tool away. So if you know there's lots of stars out, just make sure you're ready with nothing in your hand. See, otherwise you wouldn't get them. All the weeds today, hey? Okay, we should be able to just grab this front one. Take the tree.
So if you're close to anything, you press that A, it actually just shakes the thing, so. so that's no good. I think we got a yellow star rug recipe from her. Ooh, I just barely caught that one, eh? Right, here's my new axe here. And again, I'll put it at an angle so I know which one it was. Look for more fossils. Oh, here's another money tree. Let's go see who's in the old tent today. A weird looking bunny or something, eh? Snake. Um, a money tree gets you three times the amount back. So if you put a thousand in, you get three thousand. Um, if you put ten thousand in, you'll get ten or thirty thousand back. Unless you know, you know, it drops onto flowers or whatever. Um. I originally was putting 30,000 into them, but uh, somebody mentioned that you weren't getting the amount back that that you would think. And I seem to only just find 10,000 ones anyway. So I don't know if, if you want to put more than 10,000 in. You'd have to experiment with that, I guess. Uh, although I think, was it Celestine? Were you saying you got more than more in there? Yeah, I don't know. There's some debate whether you could put more than 10,000 in because, you know, you might put 99,000 in and get 30,000 back. Because at first I was putting in more and then I didn't re realize that I might not have been getting what I was expecting back. Big old fish waiting for me there, eh? You put in 99? You have to let me know if it's uh, 99 three times or if you just get 30,000 back. Well, thank you for liking. Oh, I missed the weed. Did you see that? Rip.
There we go, we got it. I don't know what happens if you put other items in there. That'd be kind of cool if you got more stuff back, eh? Well, I'm the older inventory here. Do I like Coke or Pepsi? You know, if I have a choice, I'll buy Zevia Pop. Z-E-V-I-A, but between Coke or Pepsi, I think I usually will choose Pepsi if I can. Because uh, it's a little less bubbly. Or in my opinion, it is anyway. Might be very similar, who knows, right? That's what you chose? Is that why? Pepsi has more sugar than Coke. I didn't know that. I usually choose Coke Zero or Pepsi Zero. Fantas are good. I like Fantas. You know... In all honesty, I like most pop, but... There was a questionnaire when you logged in. Yeah, I, I make up a different poll question every day. It's just for fun. You know, sometimes... Just working again. Hello. Hello. Yeah, okay, that looks like it's working. I don't know, the computer decided it was time to restart. I'm going to have to sit down and figure that out, I guess. It's like the second or third time that did that. What kind of Fanta do I like? Isn't there only orange? Well, I guess Celestine might not be here yet. All all time favorite is Mountain Dew. My favorite summer drink is fresh strawberries and Seven Up. And that sounds like a good drink. Huh. Well, there you go. I mean, that sounded like a good drink. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened with the computer. I'm just restarting out of the blue. It's kind of frustrating though, because that means I have to download my VOD from. Uh, From Facebook, and that's kind of a pain in the butt to do, you know. And my stream deck decided it was time to update too. There we go, we'll say yes to that, I guess. So basically, while I was gone, re just restarted the computer, essentially, is what happened. It started on its own. I, uh, I just been pressing A and pushing on stars while it did its thing. But you know how it goes. Sometimes live things get interrupted. I froze again. 
Just now? Yeah, my whole computer restarted. Well, hopefully it's not frozen right this second. Yes! Well, it sounds like you're responding to me, so... So we must be okay right now. All right, that's good enough. Let's go get those fossils assessed. You're fine. No, I'm back. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of frustrating that, you know, it's kind of... Random, maybe, maybe it's since I, I, I added an antivirus the other day. So maybe the antivirus makes it unhappy. Or something. I don't know if there's a really way to tell. It's not like my computer is low on memory or anything. We'll blame it on Windows 11. Ebony, thank you for liking. Akul, thank you for liking as well. Earlier. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. You know, I'd rather have them just assess, do, do an assessment without having to Hear him jibber jabbering. Oops. And I pushed pushed it again. Okay, let's press it press it slower. That's fossils. And I just realized I had a bug in there. In the inventory. Quite splendid. Our museum has these. After all that, we should go visit the coffee go coffee guy, coffee guru. Oh look, she's in here. I thought she was laying by the tree. You can buy coffee to go too, you know. Pigeon milk. You guys ready for pigeon milk? No, she didn't get pigeon milk. Hmm. Pigeon milk's just for me. You gotta kind of do that every day. If you got a coffee shop, go visit him every day. And go visit the tailor, the one that's sewing every day, same time. So eventually they'll start giving you patterns and stuff. And recipes. I'm gonna find that citrus horn beetle for I think it was Audie that wanted it. No, she still wants it. I didn't see one since. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, isn't it? Alexa, when is St. Patrick's Day? Oh, it's Thursday. I don't know what the St. Patrick's Day in uh, Animal Crossing is. Alexa, what is St. Patrick's Day in Animal Crossing? Bonita, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Go in here and sell. Sell some stuff. That looks like a paint roller on that thing, eh? Like a bucket with a paint roller? With a bit rate steady now and everything. That's a good sign. Go upstairs and see if we'll put that tub in. Do 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 do. This one's more of an outdoorsy tub, eh? Let's try putting that other one in. There, it's kind of more. It's too bad it's not. A light colored one, but kind of fits in here a bit better. And while we're here, let's go check those recipes. There's e e Eugenie Bouchard on TV. Yellow star rug. What's this one? Star three star fragments. Three star fragments. One block toy. The softwood. We need the soft wood, I guess, and some star fragments. How do you get the stars? Um, you hear that little bell noise sometimes? And then what happens is if you don't have any tools in your hand and you press up on your right stick and then you, you press A really quickly, it will help you make or make a wish. And then once you make a wish, um, it will uh, form some stars on your beach the next day. So 
So it's kind of like a two-step process, essentially. Where, oh, where, oh, where is the block toy now? There it is. So every time I see them, I, I try to wish on as many as I can. And then the next day, I'll collect them. And that Celeste, the uh, owl that is the sister of the museum guy, gives you occasional recipes. Junk, eh? There's a, a table I don't have a check mark yet for, so I figured I'd make it. We'll do the star new star recipes. There's all sorts of golden plates, except I don't have the the base recipes. Yeah, I haven't been able to get this one because I haven't got any Sagittarius fragments. There's the UFO that I built. There, this might look cool, the yellow star rug. And then, uh, there's another item that had a star in it. What was it? Yod, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Oh yeah, we should go and get the rest of the ingredients for this one here. I think it's pink lilies that I needed one more. Hello, all good? No, it's good to hear. Okay, this one needs a lot of stuff. Old armor, rusted parts, 30 of them. Lots of gold nuggets. Rockets. Here's the thing I was looking for. It's probably just an outfit changer though. The weeds are good for something once in a while, I guess. Mm. 
I'm gonna grab some honeycombs to make the honeycomb wall, eh? Although really they're wasp nests, so they're useless. what the wall looks like. The other wall is nicer, eh? Kind of cool, you get that outfit changer. It's the same thing as on the regular TV. This room seems okay still to me. See if we can put that chair in or something. Detail is probably too big. Put a safe in, that's kind of cool. I wonder if that'll fit in there. Change note. 
Hey Jordan, how are you? Probably put something on top of the safe though. What would go good on top of a safe? None of that stuff. Siphon? Howard, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. And Jordan as well. Maybe this one, eh? I got these plants. Hourglass on top of here. Thank you for using notify uh, Beth much appreciated Do I have the DLC? Yep I've been kind of slowly working away at it Good, thank you, Beth. Much appreciated. I hope you're well. <coughs> What's DLC? Downloadable content. So they have something called the Happy Home Paradise that you can buy, or if you have the um, Nintendo bonus, I guess. Uh, you know, like the. You pay pay for a year of Nintendo or whatever per the month or whatever you can also pay for one that's called the plus version and that has a uh, DLC included Take that away and put the sofa in here. Do you remember you're asking for something? Oh, I can't put that there. Um, I don't know. I don't remember what you're asking for. You play Animal Crossing 2. Weren't you looking for fruit or something? We're rearranging this. First time in a while I've rearranged this room. Oh, a bonfire. Did you get one finally? No. I thought those that gave you them early game, those ones. Dandy dandy water cooler. Where's the bench? Storage shed mini bench. Oh, you have one. So you did get one. Oh, that's good. Is 
There we go. Although honestly, I don't know if that goes that good with this other couch, but can you do? Do I have any campfires? Just like the regular campfire. The one you get right at the beginning of the game. <coughs> Excuse me, I want to see what this star rug looks like. Where should I put it though? Right upstairs. You're new to me. Well, no, if you asked me for the, um, for the, you're asking me a question about the, uh, bonfire before, I mean, that means you've been here before, right? I remember that. Spread out. Right there, though, eh? Oh, crap. Oh, crap again. Man. I'm gonna pick up everything. No! I don't know what you're saying no to. I, I There's a little bit of a delay. Between when I see it. So I might be delayed a little bit. Am I alright? Because I picked up everything by accident? You followed today. You followed before though, or, or no, maybe you stopped in before and asked about it. Where's that? Bathroom sink. That bathroom sink might have been in the corner. Oh, because of my coughing? Yeah, no, I'm fine. All right. I think I gotta go that way, maybe. I always cough. I think meant because I picked up all of my stuff. kind of annoying that I picked up all my stuff to be honest but uh... so really I just wanted to throw that that star that star mat down right here See if I'm any First time listening to my stream? Oh, really? So I think what it was is he must have messaged me, right? Asking about the bonfire. Not 
with Mr. Flamingo. That's a bit better. Kind of nervous I'll pick up everything again. I wouldn't mind putting it just over to the side a bit. Right, right here. Be better. You got one star over here. One over here. They're a very decorative bathroom now, eh? You like what I'm doing? This is like the most luxurious bathroom ever. You know all the taps do. It's unlimited water here. Although, you know what? Before, I picked up that do-it-yourself bench downstairs. Thank you for liking. Much appreciated, Beth. I had a bench in my inventory, I thought. Unless I left it around somewhere. Hmm. It's a mystery. Or I sold it back to that. Okay, what do we got? Wooden block stool, tea table, diapers, bathtub, we're gonna keep. I could have put it in my shed, I suppose. I like your place. It looks awesome. It's taking a while to collect all that crap. Where? Oh, where? Is my other workbench? Or do I just have to build a new one, maybe? Let's just close. Weeds. So we gotta go up here. And then probably be able to find it. It's in here. <clears throat> so I don't think I have it in there I could have sworn it was in my inventory though hear that noise right there Asta that bing right there That right there, that's what the star shooting sounds like. So if you happen to have nothing in your hand, you look up, press A when the, you hear that noise. And that'll wish upon the star. Yeah. 
and then you will get yourself star on your beach the next day. Right there is one. It's nice talking to you. Thank you for coming by, Beth. Much appreciated. I think I lost my uh, bench. I'm gonna have to build a new one. I don't know where the heck I did with it. I swear that I had one in there when I was building that, though. Let's see what I need. You'll catch me again sometime. Well, hopefully. I stream every day at 7 o'clock Pacific time. Uh, so if you don't get a notification, then just you know, feel free to stop by and say, hey, no matter what game I'm playing. It's always nice to see someone stop in and chat briefly or whatever, you know. Always cool. be honest, I think their wood furniture in this game is kind of ugly. I need wood, hardwood, softwood, and iron. Mario Kart? I don't have Mario Kart. Most I've been, what I've been playing mostly lately was I've been playing some Assassin's Creed. Some Halo before that as well. Um, and I started playing Batman on Saturday, or no, Friday, Batman Arkham City, and then I've been playing this game quite a bit. I've been playing this one actually quite a lot, hundreds and hundreds of hours of it. Because this game has a lot to do. You know, lots of freedom to do what you want to. The tarantulas? I think most of the time I've seen them at night. I don't know if they're a daytime thing or not, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Make ourselves a new bench, and then if the other one turns up, then the other one turns up. You had a tarantula chasing you. If it's on your island... Easiest thing to do is have your net and creep up to it and grab it. I have a couple videos on uh, on what is it on you or no on TikTok I think I put but basically you just slowly go up to it. You'll see it kind of go up a little bit. So then you stop. <coughs> <coughs> I need some more water. You caught it first try. Nice. There's that noise of the, the star again.
Right there. That noise there. Little bing. Where's Audie at? Because she wanted a citrus beetle. I don't know if she still wants it. But we'll go check. This is her house right here. I think it was her. Well, she got the one now. Here's the hose reel. time they specifically come out at I think I've seen them at all sorts of different times not usually that late I mean I've caught spiders well before that yeah if you see a spider creeping around <clears throat> the best thing to do is you pull your net out and then you hold a and you kind of slowly advance and it'll go up like this when it's kind of nervous, then you just wait for it to go back down, move a little more forward, and then bang, you get it. Once you do it a couple times, you'll find it'll be easier, probably. We need to put that water thing somewhere here. right here looks like a relaxing area <clears throat> Now I can go sell the other crap. Get rid of our excess bells, that'll give us one more spot too. That bird's just way too noisy. I turned it off. Oh, 
Took me a long time to figure out how to get those stupid stars, though, I tell ya. Because I didn't really know the noise before, and then once you know the noise, then you hear it every time. Take me down to Coconut City. Oh crap. Yeah, if you have Celeste out, uh, definitely you get more falling stars than any other time, but they can come on other nights too. Oops. Can't be near anything though. Dude sitting on it. It is almost St. Patrick's Day. You gonna dress up for your stream there, Yod? Wear some green? Otherwise all the girls will pinch ya. Isn't that the tradition or something? No, you're not going to wear green? I might wear green if I remember. My guy's going to have the St. Patrick's outfit on until St. Patrick's Day, though. I mean, you know, you're just wearing a different a color. You know, it's no big deal, right? So, I'm sure I have a green shirt somewhere. As long as you don't use your green screen, I guess, eh? In which case, you'd be invisible. Probably the worst uh, day to celebrate, I guess, for streamers is the green day. Man, there's a lot of stars out. Although you can probably set your green screen to whatever 
Technically, or not green's green, but your filter for different colors or something, right? You actually have to be wearing green. You know, I watched a pretty good show. I don't know if you ever got into Monty Python, but it was called uh, Monty Python. Uh, the Meaning of Life. Because they have a show called The Meaning of Life. So it was a take on that. But they were just expl uh, they were just uh, explaining, you know, some of the you know the things about their live tour they did in 2014 you know the kind of planning of it and what went right what went wrong that kind of thing it was kind of like a documentary so that was pretty interesting those uh, monty python guys they did that one in 2014 and I remember actually watching it um, I would love to have seen that in person though that would have been such a good show but they only did like 10 days and it was only in England but that would have been like a dream trip to England I tell you to, to go see that I mean it doesn't get any more iconic in terms of English comedy than those guys are holding up pretty good for inventory spaces. And we're going to have a lot of stars tomorrow. <clears throat> Comedy movies. Gonna make a bunch of flour here because that'll use up the wheat.
Yeah, I guess that's the only thing with time. You start losing those original comedy actors. You know, like two of the Monty Python guys have uh, died now. And the rest of them all are getting pretty old, so... I mean, people can still enjoy their, their movies and shows. But I think the younger you are, the more, less likely you are to view something like that that's way, way be before your time. Like, they were before my time, and I really enjoyed them. But, I mean, they still did. Some cool stuff, though. See, look, we can make these. Why is the coconut pancakes in this not available? Oh, that's sugar I need. Actually, a lot more manageable when there's two. For some reason, that three fills my inventory right up. Roger, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Hello. Come on the joy ride. On the joy ride. There we go. All the sugar you can handle. Now we can make pancakes. make there's no no bank or uh, no coconuts in that there you go coconut pancake and just for you Catching up, take two days off, then I wind up cooking half the time, eh? My computer decided to restart again during the stream again today. I'm gonna have to sit down and figure that out. Timothy, thank you for liking. Keep those, I guess.
What's going on? Well, we've been stars, lots of stars bombing tonight, so I've been pushing on a lot of stars. My computer decided to restart, so that was a bit inconvenient. So that, like, paused stuff briefly. And I got the big pain in the butt of having to try to download a copy of the stream. <clears throat> Tomorrow, I guess. Because my local copy will be corrupt. And here's some fruit top pancakes for Timothy. Specially made. He doesn't like pancakes normally. We gotta dress them up. Dress them up and make them especially good. What's going on? No, we can't make any more fruit top pancakes, I'm afraid. Make an apple smoothie, though. Everybody loves that. I'm a specialty smoothie maker. I should have looked for the jams first. You got the last resin? Did you make sure you got one of each personality or did you uh, try to spread it around like or did it matter to you or just try to spread it around or what? I made sure that I got one of each personality anyway. Who'd you wind up getting? <clears throat> hey, 20,000 bells even. So I guess uh, when I go to work tomorrow, I don't have to wear a mask. The new rule in BC here recently. Optional masks. We got two that is pretty much the same. The rest is all different. Oh, okay. Look at that, eh? That was planning. We got three out of that.
Now we can make eight zillion jams. Who'd you wind up getting anyway? You got a new favorite? Jam stuff in the pocket. Jacques. <laughs> he likes the French. You think a crow or a penguin would be more distinguishable, eh? Played this uh, play by mail wrestling before, and uh, you know, on the play by mail wrestling, what you did is each move was worth a certain point value, and it changed every every month, you know, when they mailed out the new newsletter, and basically, you uh. You could write in whatever you wanted, you know, like some sort of narrative of what's going on or, you know, you could like you're talking to the media or something like that and, you know, try to inspire people to challenge your guy. Or you could challenge whoever you wanted. They had a list of wrestlers you could pick of, for other players. And uh, one of my characters was Lightning, Lightning Rod. And he kind of looked like Bret Hart, you know, because you could draw your picture of your character and submit that. And one of my other characters was Jacques Petit. Canada's hero, Jacques Petit. So, um, and then me and a few of my friends, we ran a, a wrestling stable. Our stable was called the Immortal Squad. And Lightning Rod was the leader. And we all were trying to figure out this system of these point things and see if there's patterns and all sorts of things. It was pretty, pretty interesting. Anyway, Jacques Petit for a while had a rivalry with uh, the Star Spangled Trooper. You know, because they do that in wrestling, you know, they always have those rivalries and... <clears throat> and this guy... You know, you could send a letter to the to the mail or the, the wrestling federation for them to forward the letter on to... To the person. So he wrote us, he wrote us a few letters. Me and my friends. And he had this big description of what, he, how he thought things were going and... You know, and we kind of more or less almost like had a pen pal in a way. And then later on, Canada's hero Jacques Petit teamed up with the Star Spangled Trooper to make go for the tag team championship. So, anybody that's really into wrestling, you know, it kind of, you know, in your imagination, it kind of had that, that fun, 
but my guy was fairly lippy because you know that would inspire people to spend their money and challenge me rather than me spending you know because I'd spend a few bucks a month um, you know I, I don't think I ever spent more than you know six or seven bucks and uh, and then basically what happens is you know you pick your moves from the list of moves they change values a little bit each month and it would compare the move one versus move one move two versus move two and you know if you got so many in a row then you pin them otherwise it went on total value stuff like that But yeah, that was kind of the the gist of it. I should actually see if I could find it sometime and take a few pictures of it or something, you know, for those who that are interested. I don't think it's around anymore. Uh, you know, since the internet got very popular since then. I'm sure there's internet versions of it, but the play by mail one, I can't can't see that being really that popular these days, you know. But uh, you know, if you me and my friends did that for for a bit, a what a while back. And one of my friends, he he had a guy, and then. He decided to split off, so he had kind of challenged us, kind of thing. So it was weird because sometimes he'd give me money and just, you know, uh, I'd throw it on the credit card, you know, to pay for the matches. If it say this is for this guy and this is for me and stuff like that, they're okay with that. You know, we're all kind of in the same dorm, right? And. Uh, <clears throat> and then he uh, would be challenging me and stuff like that. So it's like it's kind of weird spending money to challenge your friend, but he was really good at picking those moves, though. You know, me and me and my friend uh, Rob, um, Rob from WT Fast. Actually, he's the CEO of WT Fast now. Uh, we had like Excel and we kind of track it to see if it would help. And it helped a little bit, but I don't know if we ever did figure out their system perfectly or anything. Rob Van Dam, nope. But yeah, yeah, he he got into the he had a guy. His guy's name was Goliath. His brother was playing. He had a guy named Night Train. Uh, my friend that shared a bathroom with me that was playing. His was uh, Moses Kane, I think it was called. There's a whole bunch of us, though. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was a fan of... He was a big Undertaker Kane fan. So his guy was probably based on... On those guys, you know? And then my lightning rod, I mean, the, if you looked at the picture, he looked like Red Heart. Oh no, at the time. Gain's your favorite?
And then there was like somebody that obviously like that had like near perfect record in our league. We didn't know him, but just some guy. And uh, and he uh I think what he what happened was he obviously played before. Because he started off with such a good record, you know, it took forever for somebody to beat him. Because my record wasn't that great until we started doing all the spreadsheet stuff with Excel. Miranda, thank you for liking. There was a hockey one too that you could play too. So they had play by mail wrestling, play by mail hockey. I tried that for a bit too. I don't think I did any of the other sports. I think there was a football one. But I mean, whoever came up with that, man. You know, there'd be a good number of matches that they're making a buck a piece on for really not too much work. So they had a good little thing going. I had found that through somebody. Fantasy football? Isn't fantasy football more of a draft? You know, they pick the draft picks. You know, they, they pick their players and it depends how the, those players do in real life. Because these were all just predetermined moves and... and stuff. It's more a math game than anything if you think about it. We're kind of full for space, so let's go and cook up some more. Oops, I shouldn't pour pour water on my gas stove, I guess. two things. What the? Pocket organization guide is something that gives you more spa inventory spaces. At least you don't have to worry about it eating over anytime soon. Yeah, I guess I'm pouring water on it, eh? Right, because all them yellow and green pumpkins. It's real competition today in the poll right now. I 
That's kind of weird with that time zone change, eh? Excuse me. All your stuff is fully grown. Nice. Yeah, I had a couple days off because I was playing, you know, Assassin's Creed and I was playing um, the Arkham City there. So I only got two of each for the vegetables this time. Wasn't able to maintain it, I guess. Cooking with the stars. Am I done with Halo? I'm not sure. I haven't removed it or anything like that. I was just kind of craving Batman, I think, because I had just watched Batman. <laughs> so, but I mean, I'll be playing some more Batman too, so I don't know. Maybe I'll play... I'm craving the multiplayer, I'll jump back, play some multiplayer, and I'm craving the Batman, I'll play the Batman. Trying something new, I hadn't played, I, I hadn't really played it. You know what I did with Arkham City? Used to be on this website called True Achievements. I still am technically. I use it every now and then. Where I was a big achievement collector. I think the only thing I did in Arkham City on the Xbox 360 version was I started the game and got one achievement. I don't even remember like any of the stuff from the beginning. I think I just skipped the uh, cutscenes even at the time, or they didn't have them or something. Or it's been that long that I forgot about them. And... And then I got that first achievement, and that was it. And I played something else, you know, you get into something else, and then you get sidetracked or whatever. <coughs> Maybe something new came out at the time, who knows, right? Ooh, that one. I never really played that one, but I played the crap out of Arkham Asylum. And I played the crap out of Arkham Knight, which was the one after it and the one before it, of course. Arkham Asylum was first. To be honest with you, somebody really, at the time, way back when Arkham Asylum came out, somebody really recommended, or recommended, try it, try it, try it, you know, and was like, ah, I don't know, it doesn't look that great. And then I got really into it. But, uh, I think Arkham Asylum is made by the same Arkham Asylum and Arkham City and all that. I think they're made by the same ones that made that Spider-Man game that's on the PlayStation. If I get a PlayStation 5, I'll definitely be playing that, though. I mean, that looks good. You know, the first God of War, go to the remix. Is 
second God of War too. Got some PlayStation games to catch up on once I got a PlayStation 5, I guess. Although I'm technically behind in, even on on the Xboxes and the Nintendos. Because, you know, I sit there and spend 400 hours on a game. <laughs> and really, my only game playing... Like, 99% of my game playing is on stream. You know. I think I played, a, like, a few hours on the Switch when I was... Um... On the road. Of Animal Crossing just to see what was going on in the daytime since I was on a seven-hour drive or something like that as the passenger so I played some switch on the way normally I'm the driver You know, honestly, don't really like Coke or Pepsi. Well, it's good to pick one anyway for the purposes of giving me what's called a interaction, I guess. Um, you know, when you hit like, you know, you share, and and if you answer the poll, that's all kind of interactions. And if uh, Facebook sees enough of those kind of things, then, then a lot of times they'll give out the word to other others. You know, like they'll drop, they'll drop, uh, they'll say, "Oh, this must be interesting," and then show me off to more. So it's good in that aspect. So you can always view it as if you're on a desert island and you're totally thirsty. You had to pick something, then that's what you'd pick. Or however you want to view the bold, you know, and play. Some are always up for interpretation. It might be which one would you prefer stock in, you know, if if you want a bunch of stock in the stock market where would you want your free stocks to come from you don't even have to drink them and that might even give a totally different answer than if you're viewing it as the one you would drink but it is a tight battle today that's for sure You know, if you're a Russian, you wouldn't be able to have either of them now, I don't think. I think that they pulled right out of Russia by now. I think they're part of the many companies that are not, not uh, flying their services over there in Russia because of that uh, invasion. I guess uh, they put a law in too that they're not going to enforce copyright. So, like, there'll be a lot of rip offs of McDonald's and whatever in Russia. Like Putin's or something. Because they're going to seize the assets of any of those companies that kind of moved out because of these uh, trade embargoes. Wow. 
I guess even for Russian streamers, uh, Twitch isn't paying them, that kind of thing, because, well, all the banking stuff uh, actually a lot of the banking methods pulled out, so it's hard for them to pay them anyway. But yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Even uh, I heard that Putin uh, cut off the Western social media, so even if you were an Instagram model or, you know, a streamer or content creator, uh, you know, basically Putin banned all those Western social medias. So a lot of people, Russian influencers' careers are probably done now. So it's not just that those companies are not allowing them to go over there, but, you know, they're, they don't want them there. I think because... Partly because they, uh... You know, they're trying to relay a certain narrative to the Russian people, and they don't want people playing out of that, that, uh, narrative. Only vanilla coke. OMG, why? Um, well, I mean, there's a lot of sanctions going on because, you, you know, Russia's invading Ukraine right now. And, you know, they're doing all sorts of stuff that's kind of against the normal laws or rules of war, I guess. You know, like hitting civilian targets and stuff like that. And uh, so a lot of the, you know, because it's... um. Ukraine is a sovereign state and normally you're not supposed to invade sovereign states and uh, Russia's doing it anyway despite everyone saying don't do it and so all these countries are putting their embargoes on there and all these companies don't want to or they're going to get boycotted if they don't Your housemate is half Russian and half Ukraine. Yeah, I can imagine that it's troubling for... Well, it's troubling probably for any normal person, you know. No matter what side. Yeah, as long as they know what's going on. But I imagine it's even worse for people that are half Ukraine and half Russian. Because there's people on both sides of the war that they're probably related to, you know. But, uh, I don't know how this is gonna, gonna go. Like, you know, they're doing a lot of sanctions, mostly because, you know, if they get directly involved with their troops, then that gives, uh, Putin an excuse to... You know, basically say, you know, look, you know, these guys, you got, or you guys are fighting me, so, you know, I'm going to use a nuclear weapon or whatever, right, on, on the states or whoever, right? So they're being very careful to keep it to an economic thing. How was the Assassin's Creed hunting? I managed to finish that uh, Cassandra DLC and then I kind of did a little bit more on the Ragnarok and then I went to bed. That Ragnarok supposed to be quite a big DLC though.
think we're done watering there. But yeah, it's fun. <coughs> Excuse me. If I get, if I feel like I'm hungry at all, I always cough. Oh, I thought you were asking me for the update. <laughs> I missed that it was a response. Watched me play last night. Oh, okay. Well, I can't remember what time you went to bed at, though, and compared to where I finished. Assassin's Creed Revelations. I looked up a chart on the best Assassin's Creed games. And the chart I looked at was actually closer to the order that I was saying. But I think different people have different things they prefer, so. so it's kind of interesting as to who, who's considered top. It's almost universal that Valhalla is near the top, though. The one I'm playing. But the one I was looking at had Odyssey as second. And it actually had Brotherhood up there too. Some people, some of the Assassin's Creed, long term Assassin's Creed fans, they don't really like the newer ones as much because uh, the newer ones like Valhalla, Odyssey, Origins they're kind of more almost like an RPG in a way like role-playing game whereas uh, so you can play it in different styles you know like if you want to be a fighter Versus a, a, a sneaker. Or if you want to be a archer versus, a, you know, one of those two. Um, on the older ones, like when you're talking about their very early ones. Um, those ones were very uh, sneaky in nature. You know, like your guy would... You know, if you got surrounded by people, your guy would struggle. So it's kind of interesting how that game evolved, actually. It's got a really interesting story, too. Your internet connection went out. Well, welcome back. I had problems, too. My computer restarted on me at one point there. Maybe I'll have to restart my computer before I stream more often, I guess. Your lights went out and scared the cat. Well, there you go, eh? Everyone's having a disaster. Well, I mean, you know, relative. Yeah, thank you for liking. I mean, we're not having a disaster like the people in Ukraine are. But, you know, computers restarting and internet going out and lights going out. Kind of a mini, mini event, I guess.
Everybody wants some tomato curry filled with confetti. Yum yum. Normal here we have blackout in the older apartment down the street from me. Oh, okay. My guy likes to, to cook the tomato curry because that one makes a lot of money. Or it feels like it does anyway. Not that my guy really needs the money. I mean, we've got five million bells in the bank now. You guys like Monty Python? I was just uh, telling earlier that I was watching the Monty Python documentary. Pretty interesting. On Netflix. Love it. This one was called The Meaning of Live. As long as it doesn't kill me or don't kill me, I will like it. So, in The Meaning of Live, they were talking about their live reunion show they had done. Organizing it, what went right, what went wrong. Talking about some of their history, that kind of stuff. It was pretty interesting. That live show was good though. I watched I watched it. They had had it on TV at the time. I thought it was pretty good. I can't remember if I had to pay for it watching it or it was just on regular cable though. I can't remember at the time. It's a long time ago now. That would have been exceptional to watch it live though. Whoever got to watch it live was very lucky. One thing good about getting my last resin, I don't have to spend 10,000 bells on houses anymore. That is true. You'll find new ways to spend your money now. Have you done any of the extra storage yet? After renovating all your rooms, that stuff gets expensive. Let's go to Harv's Island in case he has any new paintings. Oh, it's over here.
Oh, and thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Itchy, I'm going to have to shave again soon. You watch D2, the Mighty Ducks, with your brother. Your brother Graham and your sister-in-law tonight. Nice. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Funny you seeing AC. AC from Dawson's Creek is Charlie in that. You know, and it's funny if you think about it. That, uh... I think that was the movie. That's the one where they're in the U.S., isn't it? They're, they're Team USA. Um... The, uh... One kid there from the Mighty Ducks movies there is that, uh... Jesse Smollett, who who's that uh, actor that uh, was on that one legal show or whatever? And then there's another one there that was you see around too. girl I think one well, that's the figure skater I think she's in something too you want to watch the trilogy again there's a TV program too on uh, Disney plus I guess like a uh, series they put out with Emilio coaching them for the first season, and I don't know who's coaching them for the second one. Yeah, we can drop this money off because we don't need money, I don't think, right now. Mostly of it. $5.9 million dollars. Oh, you know what I should have did is before I dropped off my money, I should have looked in here. At the uh, door, just in case. I guess I can grab the money easy enough, though. Pretty sure I have that one. I must have most of his albums now. If you want a good hockey movie, and if you haven't seen it, guys, Goon is actually a pretty good hockey movie. Goon 1 and 2. Goon 1 was the better, but... I watched Goon a couple times. Oh, there it is. 
guess we could pick a different song, eh? There we go. For quad synth. Here, let's pick a number. Jet, Jet, hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Pick a number from one to nine. We'll see who guesses it correct. I'll go over here and sit on this couch for a minute. Esther picks eight. Okay, we'll see if Esther's correct. Jet, Jet picked five. Timothy, three. Stephanie, five. Jet, Jet, thank you for liking. Let's see who guessed. Four. No, nobody got it. Timothy and Jet Jet were close, though. Get that, eh? We'll start the spin for next time. Six for you. You should pick four now that we saw what it was. <laughs> I'll show you guys my house. I haven't changed much in a while yet, though. This room's been pretty similar the whole time. Got an Apple TV. Pretty fancy chair, eh? Look at that. We got like the fanciest computer chair. And we got like the old school typewriter here. We got like an old dresser here. I could have changed that out, I guess. Old uh, wood wooden bookshelf with a weird mirror. Three gamer, Adrielli, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. I'm having to look around the bar today. I moved my chair a little bit more forward than normal, I guess. And it has the name like right there, right around the bar. So in this room here. Do I do island visits? Not very often. <laughs> I have, but most of the time I wind up uh, not be able to build stuff for a bit then. Although if you want to drop a dream code into the into a message if I do go look around at dream islands then uh, I have a list of dream islands I want to visit at some point and then I put clips of them as well as on the stream themselves And there's this room. Looks like he's playing with his nose, eh? then go down here like a bunch of hospital beds With money all over the floor that's your dream address okay I'll grab it of it so I can remember for next time next time I get around to it that is got a whole bunch I gotta visit actually
And we'll copy it. And we'll put it in the thing. All right. So anyway, this room is pretty quiet because it doesn't have a stereo or whatever in it, I guess. And then we got the ultimate bathroom up here. Um, you can see that we have a shower. We have a couple different bathtubs options. Multiple toilet options from urinals to squat toilet to a gold toilet to a normal toilet to a bidet over here. So, you know, like you and five friends can go all at once if you wanted. How do you visit islands again? Uh, well, for the dream addresses, you have to lay down in a bed in your house, I think. And then you'll have that dream thing come up, and then it'll ask you if you want to you wanna dream. Or if you uh, want to visit a friend's island, and that's how you make dreams, too. It'll give you the option. And then for... Uh, Visiting islands and people visit your islands. If you guys have each other on the friends list or you have those codes. Um, not a dream address, but there's just a, another code. Then uh, you can use that and uh, and I'll say, I want to fly to my friends or I want people to come. And you give your code to them. What other games do I stream on here? Recently... Uh, I started Batman Arkham Asylum, or not Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. And I've been doing the DLC for Assassin's Creed. Um, I've also been doing a little bit of Halo, but I do actually do quite, quite a lot of different games in the long run. Like, you know, if you go over the course of the year, I've, I've done all sorts of games. Like, mostly open worlds are my favorite. But, uh... Yeah, there's, there's a variety of different things. In my video description, you'll see uh, my YouTube link and show some of the past streams from over the years, too. You know, from when I started on Mixer to... to uh, Twitch streams I've done, as well as Facebook ones up to where I've uploaded to so far. Crap, star after star, eh? Oh, I didn't get that last star. Yeah, I play different things. Whatever men do at the time. Have I ever done Mario Kart? I don't think I've done Mario Kart on stream. I only have it on the Wii U. Alright, I might check that out when I get a chance. Although, I am going to delete it under the self-promotion thing for now. Just to be consistent. 
Um, if I get a chance, maybe I'll go pop pop over and check that out when I when I get a chance. Your rock didn't give you anything. It broke and gave me one tiny rock. You know why that is, Esta? Is because um, if you eat fruit or any food before you hit the rock, then it uh, gives you strength. And so basically you could move trees and you could break rocks and stuff. But you notice that I, I haven't eaten anything. So I'm able to hit it up to nine times. And I put these behind me so that I don't wind up getting too far away from it. The, that would bust the rock if I had eaten a fruit though. You'll notice that when you eat fruit or food or whatever, it uh, puts a number up in the top corner from one to 10. That'd be if you wanted to break the rock or if you wanted to move a tree or whatever. You see, if I try to dig this tree right now, it'll just bounce off of it. But if I, uh, um, but it, uh, with a fruit, I'd be able to actually move it. That's how I picked up these bamboos and moved them to where they are. Yeah, that's how you get your iron though. And then if you go to a Nook Island, there's like four or five rocks on those usually too. So you can do the same thing to get your 30 iron that you're looking for or whatever for your expansion when the time comes. Man, look at all the stars that are out there today. Gold! We got gold! That's exciting, eh? This one's the money tree. Oh. If you get too far away, it doesn't give you time to, to get the rock. Again. And don't forget to clean up the area first because if you don't you now I put a little path around so I know but if you don't then you get one less item right if there's something on it already oh crap there goes my shovel I wonder if I have another one you should carry two The money tree or money rock. This is a money tree that's growing there.
That was all of them. We're just resting. And if you go, you spot any stars, make sure you clear your beach off before you go to bed. Gotta, gotta keep good and clear. Your account you have, is that your, your dream code or just your, your regular account? I mean, I can take a screenshot. You don't want to keep it on the public chat, like if you, you know, you don't want a bunch of people adding you or whatever. I don't know if they would, but feel free to delete it anytime because I've screenshotted it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you don't want it public or whatever, then feel free to delete at any time. Oh, okay. Wait, that's your how much bells you have. Okay. I thought you meant that's your code. Like your your thingamabopper. I misread it. You got a, you got a couple bells, eh? Here all those stars, eh? That guy's smiling like he's up to something. Look at him. Shake my trees before I accidentally shake one trying to catch a star, eh? As long as I'm centered on the tree. Catching those things is easy. Fragrance diffuser, eh? remember to grab a lily down here now that they've grown back I should be able to make that one 
wreath or whatever it was. Got him. See on this side of my river, these are all hardwood trees or pine trees. And on the other side, I have my fruit trees. Except for the one right above the lane. Those are fruit trees as well. Oh, I didn't even notice it was a wasp. So those trees down there are, are fruit trees. I get in there before it closes. A whole pile of uh, wasps there, eh? I'll be able to sell him the bones on time, but maybe never know. Maybe he'll feed this one.
Those uh, Nook Brothers there, they don't really fool around too when you're in their shop. I'll kick you out right now. And you could sell it on the box and the outside, but they take a big cut off of it. Let's see if we can make it. The difference with the Able Sisters, they won't kick you out. These guys will. Five hundred, that's pretty decent. You watch this. See, they don't fool around. The Able Sisters won't say anything to you, but these guys will. It's really windy, eh? The clouds are coming in. Guess the storms are done. Hurricane coming, yeah. That'd be something if they had a hurricane come in and it wipes out your stuff. Maybe you're onto something there, Fire Devil. They could do that, uh, you know, as a way to make you rebuild parts of your island. Although I'm sure that'd be frustrating for for some people that, you know, are very meticulous about getting certain things and put it in if they had to reorder a bunch of crap. It only lets you reorder so many items at a time. I need those flowers. Where did those go? Lots of snowflakes. Fires, cans. It would probably, yeah, it probably makes some people unhappy. Well, maybe they could have it as an option. You could turn it on and off, though. You know, like, if you want to deal with it, you could turn it on. Those flowers go, man. I'm sure I stored a few in here. The very end? Nope. Not spotting them. Here they are. Pink lily. Two white lilies. And two orange lilies. What I needed, I'm pretty sure. That was the weekend. It's always too short, isn't it? Seems to blow by. I don't know about too, too short since you worked all weekend. 
Well, I guess, yeah, that'd make a difference for you. Where's that flower thing, bum bopper? There it is. Time change mess with you. How does that work when you're in the middle of your shift, though? Like, if you're working night shift and the hour went ahead, do you get an extra... I guess you just, because it's going ahead, you'd lose an hour of your shift, probably. You know. Let's see what this lily crown looks like. Well, it's not really my my thing, but go go home when you're done. But your shift would be over an hour sooner, wouldn't it? We're down a shovel, so we'll have to remember that. Tomorrow. It'd be only if you're working night shift, I guess. The amount of time you donate evens it out. Oh, I see, because you work a little bit over here and there, probably, eh? Even out in the wash. Wonder if anyone's making any items. Now she fights the Grody Storm. You get home five minutes late, you don't put in overtime for it? Yeah, that's what I do too. If it's long enough, I'll, you know. Emotional exercises. Yeah, if it's long enough, then I will, but it depends on how long it is. You're here over 15 minutes and you put in 
Yeah, that seems like a good amount. Unless you're called out and you always put in, yeah, that seems like a good policy. That's kind of the same way I I uh, I look at it. Where's Marina? At? Not right home. Do they have a minimum call out too? I think that we have a minimum call out. So even if you get called out and you put in, you know, 20 minutes of work, then I think they got to pay you a few hours kind of deal. Unless I could fix it on the phone, in which case I don't worry about it, but... You have to come down to the office. There's Marina. Here, let's give her that thing that I made. Oh, she likes it. Look at that, I got a top coat in exchange. I think she had to be carrying her top coat that she wanted to give away. Did I see Minnesota? Wild retired Koi whose numbers? No, I didn't see that. I heard there was a snowstorm or something zinging through the states, though. I don't know if it reached how far north it reached, but. First person to have their number retired. Oh, really? I kind of think of Koivu as a Montreal Canadian, though, but. Unless I'm thinking of the wrong Koivu. This one's gonna d land not where I want it, no matter what. Oh, no, it was okay. Jordan, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Look at we got a bamboo groove wall. I Audi. Well, I howdy to you too. Your present just flew by, Father. Thank you for liking. Saku Koyu was with the Canadians. Is it a different Koivu on Minnesota? Or is it the same one? Because that's the Koivu I think of as Saku. Elite team, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Miku. Oh, okay. So is his brother got his number retired? Saku's brother. Ah. I imagine that when their time comes that, uh... Um... Anze and uh, Dowdy's numbers will get retired. I'm not sure about Quick, though. Maybe Quick. Although, you know, for Quick on the Kings, he's number 32. You know, Kelly Rudy is also a very historic number 32. 
it'd almost be nice if they if they do retire 32 to put both uh, Rudy and uh, um, Quick's numbers on that or names on it. I guess we can't really sell that stuff, but we cleared the beaches. So that's a positive thing. There we go. Well, I guess I gotta work tomorrow, and with this extra hour change, I'm gonna be a little bit messed up as it is for sleep. So we should probably get ready to go to bed. If you haven't followed yet, please do so. If you uh, want to check out the YouTube link is in the video description along with uh, um, TikToks and all that stuff. I put one up on TikTok today. And... Uh, and of course, if you're wondering who won the poll... Oh, it's a tie. It's a tie. Can you believe it? I'll give it five. I'll give it ten seconds. See if somebody wants to break that tie. But um, it it's perfectly even right now. So I mean, next vote and break that tie. Bedtime sounds good to you. Bedtime is good, especially when the time changes, eh? You'll have a look at your YouTube wall. Thank you. Yeah, if you subscribe to those, uh, um, then that that'll be good because uh, it's free to subscribe. Mine's well. And then when I do put something up there, it lets you know. But I put a bunch of different clips up today on YouTube, and I have all past streams on there. Look at all these things, eh? Okay? I guess we're going for a tie then. Looks like. So. 50% Coke. 50% Pepsi. Never been a closer result than that. If you click on where it says overall. Um, it'll, it'll say the description of my and then it'll be there or if you uh, you know just look up the same name Chacal star all one word uh, you'll be able to find them at, at you know I have the same same thing everywhere but the easiest way is click overall you know where it says chat or whatever and then you'll find a link there But yeah, I'm going to paste that into my video description. Or not my video description, my poll results. And there we go. So I can see next time if we run that one again, what the result will be compared. Found them? Okay, well, it's good. Instagram, I have some deer pictures and stuff like that. Sometimes TikTok and Instagram are similar. Sometimes they're slightly different. But anyway, feel free to check out whatever you want to check out. But have a good night, everybody. If uh, if it does uh, switch to somebody else, then it does. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs>